Hey everybody, it's Boo Ray Perry from Tampa, Florida, and today I want to talk about a new strap. Just got it in the mail last week. It's called the Falcam MagLink strap, made by a company called Ulanzi. Uh, this strap retails for $29.99. Yeah, $29.99 for this strap. This is the light version, the smallest one that they make. They also make one that's called the classic version that's a little bit bigger. It retails for $46.99. And I saw this online and I reached out to him and said, would you please send me a strap because I would like to talk about it. And this is the strap that they sent me. So I didn't pay for this strap, full disclosure. Uh, so this strap bears a striking resemblance to a type of strap that we have seen before on my channel and that I personally own several of. And that is, of course, Peak Design. I'm a big fan of Peak Design. I've got two of their straps. I've got their big bag, which, by the way, I need to be doing a video about that bag pretty soon. But what struck me as unique about this strap was that they didn't just go out and copy somebody else's style and try and make money off of it. They tried to innovate on the strap. And I applaud that because that's the way the world works. Somebody makes a product, somebody else says, I think I can make a product better or I can make a product less expensive. And they make it and then they let the audience decide. The consumer decides if it's worth it. Now, I don't want to make a video that compares this to the Peak Design. I've made videos about Peak Design before. You can go check them out on my channel. Uh, I, that's not what this is about. I really just want to talk about this strap and let you get a good look at it and then you can check them out for yourself and decide which one is right for you. There's some pros and there's some cons and I will get to that. Now, before we go any further, don't forget to be sure and follow me on Instagram at Boo Ray Perry. I've got a funny Instagram feed and you will enjoy it. Also, join my group on Facebook. It is called Pro Photo Talk with Boo Ray Perry. It's a nice community there. You can go there and ask questions and people will help you out. It's a, it's a lot of friendly, friendly people there. And also be sure and go down and check my links. I'll have links down in the description to all the straps as well as a link to my gear page. And if you go to my gear page, all my gear is there. Tons of gear. Everything that I use, and this is all stuff that I personally have tested and personally have used. If you click one of those links and you end up buying something, then I make a couple of dollars and it helps me to keep the channel alive. So I appreciate that. I really, really do. And don't forget to comment and like and subscribe and, you know, you know the drill. All right. Mm. <clears throat> so let's talk about this MagLink system. Here's the way the MagLink system works. It's magnetized, right? Big surprise. So here's the tether, right? And here's where it connects into the camera. And you want to see how hard it is to connect into the camera? Are you ready? We're going to connect it. It's connected. Did you, did, you, <laughs> did you get that? I'm sorry. Was that too fast for you? Hang on. I'll, I'll disconnect it. And disconnecting it is tricky when you're holding it like this. I'll stand up in a minute and show you how to do it. So let me do it where it's facing you. Here it is. And now it's connected. Just like that. This tether is rated at 162 pounds. Make sure I got that right. I don't have that right. It's 132 pounds, 60 kilograms, which means you can put a full-size camera on this if you want to. I wouldn't because the strap is just too thin for a full-size camera. But for a small point-and-shoot like the Fuji X100 V-Line, yeah, this is plenty, plenty strong. Now, let me stand up, put it on, and take it off to show you how you do it in real life if you were working with it. All right, so hopefully that gave you some idea of how quickly you can get your strap on and off. And the fact that the strap is magnetized so that once you disconnect the camera from the strap, you don't have to worry about the strap falling off your neck. You can just touch the ends together. See, that's good. That's clever. That's what we like to see. Show us something we haven't seen before in a strap. That's why I wanted to look at this strap. Uh, it's got quick um, adjusters. You grab them right here. You want to make it longer. You can just pull it out. <clears throat> you can make it shorter. You can just grab it, pull up like that, goes right up, fine. Not a big fan, that's a, a con for me on this strap is that although this is quick and effective, I'm not a big fan of the way the tabs stick out, right? That's just me personal. I like everything to be a little more streamlined. I think a lot of people, if you're like me, you know, when it comes to say, if you're carrying the Fuji X100 series, 
Uh, aesthetics are really important. So I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> right? I want this to be flush. But I also understand that it's tricky. I got the Peak Design straps. This attaches to the strap if you get their small strap and kind of hides itself a little bit. Whereas this stands out because it's got this nice leather pull tab on it. Um, yeah, that again, that's that's personal. So that's a personal con. Uh, the pro is the price. You you can't beat the price. The price is unbelievable. Now, what it doesn't come with, it's important to know, is it doesn't come with a, a plate that goes on the bottom of your camera. So if you want to have this a sling style where you put a plate on the bottom of your camera and you connect it to the side and you connect it to the plate, a lot of people carry their straps that way, you don't have a plate for this. So you're going to have to get a plate someplace else, like, for example, Peak Design. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can do it sling style. Uh, I have a hack that I use and a way that I attach my strap to my camera so there's only one connector and it's very, very easy. Uh, and I'll put a link in the video right up here that shows you where that hack is and it works with either one of these types of straps. So that's it. That's the Falcom Mag Link from Ulanzi. It's absolutely worth checking out. You should, if you're looking for a strap, you should look at this. Look at Peak Design 2. Decide which one's right for you. Uh, they're different levels of straps, and they do different things, and they work different ways. And I, uh, I can't say for sure which one I would use if I had gotten to it first. <laughs> uh, personally, I, uh, excuse me, personally, I'd like to see them make this one wider because I like a wide strap because I'm a big guy. I carry a lot of stuff on my camera a lot of times. I like a big wide strap. Matter of fact, I've been told that the strap I use on my Fuji X100V is too wide. Be, you know, be for that little camera. I, that's okay. I'm worried about my shoulders. I want a nice wide strap. And this strap, as innovative as it is, this is the light version, it's just a little too thin for me. Now, the classic version is a little bit wider, and maybe that would be the trick. But for this particular strap, the light version, it's just too thin for me to use on a full-time basis. Although I can see using it for a quick, oh, I'm running down, running out just to do some shoots or whatever, use this strap on my camera. Sure, no problem. So check it out. Links are down in the description and stick around there's more on the way